So Roblox Islands has updated, and yeah, yeah, I, I know I'm a bit late, um, but I'm back from holidays, but yeah, we're not gonna talk about that anymore. So let's go over the main part of the actual update, so let's just go to the hub. Alright, so we're not gonna go over the lunar part right now, we're going to be going over the new AP system. So you must be wondering, what is wrong with the leaderboard? Where are all the coins? So your coins are above the leaderboard now, and coins are not the actual best thing in the game now. The AP system has completely changed the meta of to get coins. So the whole point of the game was, before this, was just who could have the most coins. Now it's completely different. If you go ahead and click profile, click achievements, you can see AP point stands for achievement point. And then if you click event, you can see these tasks, and if you have completed these tasks, you will get AP points. And I'm gonna talk you on how you can get your first 80. So you can get 50, 25, and 10. So if you collect all these three items, the trophy, the plushie, the banner, and you can get that 50 right there. And then if you defeated the Luna Rabbit boss once, you can get 10, and then if you defeated the Luna Rabbit six times, you can get 25. And something else in this achievement point is you can actually just see your stats down here. So basically what this stats is, is if you go to explore, you go to online, islands, then you click edit, it is island stats coming soon. That is basically what this is. So it is finally here, you can see how many blocks, items crossed, island visitors, mobs killed, place blocks, crops harvested, and quests completed. But yeah, that's everything about the AP system. They will be adding more in the future, so say if you crafted a smelter, you will get some AP points, maybe five. But yeah, definitely hop into this event to get your first AP, AP points. So, if you come up to this dashboard, you should see Arcade Search for Game, and that will take you to a Luna boss fight. So instead of solo queuing in here like I was about to do, you can click Party and invite your friends, and now I'm going to go in here and show you the fastest way to actually kill this boss. So what you're going to do is go ahead and... So the weapons you're going to use is basically just the spellbooks. That's all I use, but some people do use the Serpent Bane. Just do not use the bows. The bows are the worst. So the spirit spell book is good because it will do void damage, but it's not the best. But then my personal favorite is the normal spell book, and the reason why I like the spell book is if you actually go ahead and go to combat catalog, you can actually see enemies right here, the lunar rabbit. Go to weaknesses. So under magical, there is inferno, and this is inferno. So what this means is if you use this spell book, it will do tick damage. So as you can see, there is a fire effect and it is doing like 10 damage like every single second what is actually really good and quite overpowered so some people do say the serpent bane is good and let me show you why it's not so basically it says it does 51 damage or something around there and the bad side about it is people go oh high damage it's better but the thing is you're getting hit a lot then you'll die then you'll have to come all the way back and then that's less time to actually damage it so if you're using this and staying back, you're doing 25 damage or 30 damage, plus the extra tick damage, and you're basically doing like up to 60 damage a second. But yeah, definitely, I would say, just use the spell book. None of the other weapons, the reason why I don't use the bows is because by the time you've actually loaded it all up and launched it, you could have launched two of these already. But yeah, let me quickly show you how to not get hit. So let me give you some tips. So basically when it jumps, what I do is I just move over to the side. I start moving as soon as he jumps. Then I can just keep clicking in the one spot, moves, I just move over. I like staying in one spot and not like to move. And but yeah, let's go back to lobby and see what I actually just got. Alright, so as you saw at the end of that, I got four of these lunar mooncakes and four of the red M envelopes. So if you eat the Lunar Moon Cake, you will get 40 seconds of a jump boost. So yeah, this is really useful, and yeah. And then we got these Red Envelopes 2023, and what you can get out of these is the Lunar Moon Cakes, the Cherry Blossom Saplings, the Dumpling Chair Slash Couch, the Red Envelopes, the Gold Envelopes, and Lunar Rabbit Statue. So they are the five items you can get out of them, and you 
you can get gold envelopes by opening these, and then the gold envelopes can actually get you Lunar Mooncakes, Red Envelopes, Lunar Rabbit Banners, Lunar Rabbit Plushie, Gold Envelope, Lunar Rabbit Statue. So it basically gives you a higher chance to actually get these three items right here. And then they have introduced a new tree. So as you know, I just talked about the Cherry Blossom tree. So what you can actually make with this wood is stairs, slabs, signs, fences, trapdoors, and pallets. What a who, I guess? So as you all know, the Lunar Mooncake actually gives you jump power. But there is another item what in this update would actually give you jump power. So if we go home, so the item is the trophy. So if you go ahead and place the trophy, you will get infinite jump boost. It, it kind of looks like that, but it's actually just the same height as the Lunar Mooncake, but it will just give you jump boost. So if you walk a certain distance away, it will get rid of it. And then you walk closer, it will pop up again. And another thing is if you want to jump even higher, actually eat a Lunar Mooncake and and look how high you can jump. And by the way, next week is actually going to have an update. So most people think that there's going to be no other updates to this. And it's just going to be ended in two weeks. So yeah, it's probably your best chance to actually get the rabbit statue, the plushie, and the banners now. Since there are not many items in it. And if they add a whole bunch of items next week, it's going to be quite hard to actually get them. But yeah, this is basically it for this update. But if you want to see what it's like for me opening a diner by myself, click right up here to watch that video.